Okay, so we're going to go over typography, the good, the bad, and the ugly. You should have just finished watching the typography ed puzzle, uh, which went through a little bit about typography, basic video. So we're going to go through it a little bit more and see how much of it you understand and remember. So uh, first things, uh, typography has two basic functions. First, it's to convey a message concisely, quickly, and with little effort to the reader. Second, it's to enhance the mood or the feel of the design. So when you're using typography, you need to make sure that the relationship or the voice matches the message. The typeface needs to be readable and legible. And like it said in the video, you should limit your typefaces to only one or two. Less is more. And opposites do attract and kind of adds contrast. So you must to do proper design, you should learn a little bit about how to properly use letting, tracking, kerning, and hierarchy. So I'm going to go through a few live, real advertisements using ty typography. And I want you to tell me whether you think they're good or bad. So this is, why do you want to be something more? Or in white, why do you want to be so thin? This is an advertisement in a, ma in a magazine for... Uh, anorexia nervosis. So do you think this typeface is good or bad? Actually, the typeface is considered pretty good. Uh, it has to do with anorexia nervosa, which is a disease for people that don't eat and get really thin. So this is a nice thin condensed typeface sans serif. Uh, it has no serifs on it and uh, it looks, it's got like a hidden message in there. With the Why do you want to be so thin? This is the sign for Mary England Coffee Shop. Do you think the typeface matches is good or bad? Well, it's about Mary England. So I think they have a nice English typeface for Mary England, but I think they should have chosen a different typeface for coffee shops. The S or the Fs almost look like S's in coffee, so it looks like coffee shops. So I think this would be a bad typeface. This one is for Opus de Spa. Is the typeface good or bad? So I think the typeface for this one is pretty good. It's got a nice light elegant feel of a day spa with the wings on the edges kind of makes it look like it would be heavenly. Uh, I think they should have added something with spa somewhere that you could see it on the big sign because other than that you wouldn't know what opus was unless you saw what it said on the front door. So I think this is good but it could always use a little improvement. Making great pizzas for over 50 years. Is this a good or a bad sign or typography? For me this was a little hard to read. The pizzas almost look like pigas uh, so I think that the typography does not fit the message. It's not readable or legible, um, and it doesn't have the right voice. Uh, it's a script cursive typeface they use instead of a serif or sans serif or script or uh, decorative. So I think they, they could have changed the typeface. Okay, for this one, how bad does it have to get before you do anything about it? Is this a good or a bad typeface? I think this is the ugly typeface. Uh, it is very hard to read. Uh, this was for somebody that was suffering from uh, depression. So, but it is so hard to read. I don't know. It just, to me, does not work at all. Some people can't even read that. Spiral, salt and vinegar. Potato snacks, is the typeface good or bad? I think for this type, it is actually very good. It has a nice fun feel uh, and the spiral and the as the eye works very well. So this typeface kind of goes well along with it, making it seem like it's a fun, enjoyable snack. So I think this would be a good one. Footsteps, uh, this one is for shoes shoe store. Uh, do you think this is a good or a bad typeface? 
For this one, I think it's pretty good. You can tell from looking at it that it has to do with feet. Okay, and it looks like feet on top of like flip-flops or something. So uh, you can read it from afar and it looks like it, I think this would be considered a good typeface. Big Al's Harley Davidson Writing Club. Would this be considered a good or a bad typeface? For me, this would be considered a bad typeface. Usually Harley Davidson is considered with something masculine, motorcycles, tough, rugged. To me, this typeface is more of a voice or a mood of female and fluffy. So I think that you'd probably go with more masculine typeface and stronger. So I think this would be bad. Megaflix. Uh, we actually had one of these in our town. It was to rent, obviously, movies. So Megaflix. This one, is it a good typeface or a bad typeface? This is one that is really bad. They have very bad kerning or space between the letters. Uh, this is one that when they said in the video that you should just scrap the typeface and try something else because from certain angles, it looks very bad. Lampshade, uh, they company logo for selling lamps. Is this a good typeface or a bad typeface? I think this tells you from looking at it that it is uh, goes with lampshade. You can see the lamp going over the P and S. Uh, it, for me, is a half-half. I like that it combines the lampshade with it. I think that's a great look for the logo, but I think they could have used a handwritten instead of a cursive uh, typeface because some people cannot read cursive or script. Employee only. For this one, do you think this is a good or a bad typeface? For me, I think this one's pretty bad. Uh, I think the font is good, the sans serif, but I think the way that they broke the word up into employee only uh, makes it a little hard to read. I think if they did it vertically, it would have been easier to read and then put only at the bottom or only on the side, but it's breaking up the word puts it into too many different ways to, to read it. So this to me is a bad typeface. Dad, I just rammed your car. This is for a dent and scratch repair company for automobiles. Do you think this is a good or a bad typeface? For me, the voice or mood it's got a nice scratched and dented, almost distressed, decorative typeface. So I think that typeface works really well. I think that uh, they could have done something better with the way that they stretched it and arched it. Um, if they just left it plain, I think that would have been a lot better. But uh, I think the typeface does pretty much go with the voice of the message. This is a poster I found online that had to do with a whole bunch of different ways that you need a typeface and how to choose the right one for the right product. So it would go through and you'd pick out whether you're doing a logo and an indentation and then it would go through yes or no questions until you found infograph, newspaper, book, what would be the best typeface for you. So now that you've learned a little bit about the good, the bad, and the ugly of typefaces, it is your opportunity to complete your typography learning activity number one. Thank you.